Hey everyone, Avalar hey, here, and today we're playing the demo for Deep Pool Springs. And this has been developed by Punami Games, and you can find this over at Itch.io. Uh, can't have a link, sorry. But, uh, I don't, I think I heard that there was nothing in the demo that's, uh, adultish? I don't know. But in this game, we play as Axel going on a road trip, and then get into a car accident, I think? I don't know. Let's get into it. Before we take your call, you are an adult, right? Uh, sure. Good. You won't have any trouble then. The day on the highway. It's funny when you're in barren places like this. Almost feels like you're not actually going anywhere. It's just you and the road ahead. Maybe a gas station now and then. Without much else going on, you've got a lot of time to think about things. That's both a good and bad thing, depending on how you're feeling. For me, usually more bad than good. So what place is worth crossing thousands of miles of nowhere for? Truth is, I've got no destination in mind. I just got in my car and wanted to see where it would take me. Breeze through a lot of small towns and places most people would never see in their lifetimes. It's weird country out here. I don't mean that like I'm seeing Jersey Devils or Goatmen popping out of the ground. You don't need ghost stories when you've got people. People are plenty weird by themselves. Damn right. Especially when they're this far away from anybody else. It's been a while since I had a good night's sleep. I've just been drifting from motel to motel. You know what I mean? Little places which have seen better days. Great big neon signs you can see a mile away. Game I haven't seen one in a while. I'm almost passing out at the wheel. Don't fancy parking my car and trying to catch some sleep under that blazing sun. So, I've just got to tough it out until I can find a place to stop. Just a bit further, and a bit further after that. Erg. Damn, one hell of a headache I've got. I'm going to need a whole bottle of aspirin. What? I must have been dreaming I was on the road. Guess I really was sleep deprived. I remember booking this motel room, though. Maybe I should get up and have a look around. Yay, I can click on stuff. Ab abstract art, it looks like. I think you're missing an S in there. One of those old boxy televisions. But it doesn't look that old. It looks almost brand new. Starla Fox Hotline 69. Please a pose like this in a motel room. 6969-60065. Telephone. No point in calling anyone until I figure out where I am. What's this? Ah. Okay, cool. And let's leave. I step outside. I see a sports car leaving the car park. Whoever's driving that has some cash to spare. Makes me wonder why they'd stop by a three-star motel. Not that it really matters. Where's my car? I can't see it anywhere. Shit, someone must have stolen it. My keys aren't on me. Looks like my wallet and phone are gone, too. Fucking hell, no money? No car, and I've got no clue where I am right now. Alright, calm down. Let's figure this out. I'll visit reception and see what they know. Yeah, what do they know? Tell me. Our right, reception, I should. How's that? What the fuck? I must still be dreaming. That explains why I can't find my car. Always the same thing in these dreams. I want to do something, or find something, and weird shit gets in the way. Play a cool, Axel. Pretend nothing's wrong. Right, I can't click on anything else but her. Oh, hey. You're awake. You don't mind telling me what the hell is going on. What? Me? Is there somebody else in this room? Sorry, but I don't remember how I got here. Lucy dumped on my front doorsteps a few minutes ago. Who the hell's Lucy? You mean you don't know her? Nope, not at all. Where's my car? And my keys? And my wallet? Don't ask me, I've got no clue. That person took it. What is this shit? 
Why am I talking to a cat with huge boobs? Because why not? Did I crash or something? Have I got short-term memory loss? Also, what motel lets their receptionist dress like this? Oh, do you like them? Like what? Oh, come on. Stop being dishonest. Look at them if you want to. Don't if you don't. Look, I've got a splitting headache, and I've got no clue where I am. Help me out here, please. You're in Deep Pool Springs. And where's that? It's a city on the Aurora Coast. Never heard of it. Well, you're there. I think you've had a pretty interesting night. Yeah, sure have. Lucy also paid for your room, by the way. Left enough cash here for you to stay for the next three months. Wait, she must have been the one driving that fancy car. Damn it. I was just a few seconds too late. As for your headache, book an appointment at Liz's clinic. She's the closest doctor. Who knows what happened to you while you were blacked out? Yeah, good point. Here's her number. Liz's number added to inventory. Ooh. Here's a map, too. I've marked her clinic on it. She has me an ancient looking brochure. Thanks. Before I go, I didn't catch your name. Wait a minute. How come there's like no sound? Let's see. It should be sound. I see. Music and. Yeah. Okay. The sound when I click on these things. Valerie, you can call me Val. Axel, thanks again for the help. You should be thanking Lucy. I will when I see her. Did you say when she'd be back? Nah, she didn't say much at all, to be honest. Let me know if you hear from her then. Will do, Axel. Now please go get a checkup. Can't have you dropping dead on me, can I? Well, I don't know what to make of any of this. Eh, just go with the flow. Don't know if I'm dreaming, or hallucinating, or what. But it feels real enough to me. Let's see what this Liz has to say. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Inventory. This is number. Call it? I don't think I can. App. <laughs> what? Dick butt. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, clinic. Motels here. I don't know how that's gonna help me at all. Oh wait, there was something I can click on. Go back in. No smoking. Yeah, it's a no smoking sign. Look at the ashtray on her desk. Well, it's her hotel. She makes the rules and breaks them too. All right, that was all I can click on in here. And go back up to my room. Oh, yeah, I have to use the phone. Which number should I call? Wait. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I gotta type in the number? Ridiculous. 70409. 70409. 70409. Making me type. What's wrong with you? You've reached Liz's clinic. How can we help you? Hey, I'd like to book a checkup. This is your first time booking an appointment with Dr. Liz? Yeah. Can I get your name for the appointment? Axel Smith. First available appointment we have is 2 p.m. today. Does that suit you? I'll take it. Your book for 2 p.m., Mr. Smith. Great, thank you. I'll see you soon. And I'm there. Man, that was a bit of a walk. Thought I wasn't going to make it on time. Luckily for me, Dr. Zoro is running late. I've only been waiting for 10 minutes instead of an hour. The receptionist is a deer. In fact, everybody I've passed in the city is some kind of animal. I don't think I've seen any normal people at all. Nobody's acting like anything is weird, though. Guess they've seen a human before? Mr. Axel Smith, Dr. Liz will see you now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, nothing to click on. Hey. Must be the doctor. Anything to click on? Nope. Hello, Mr. Smith. I am 
Dr. Liz. Please have a seat. Thanks. Why does a, li a lizard need boobs that big? Uh, why wouldn't she need boobs that big? They must weigh 50 pounds each. So, is there anything in particular you're concerned about? I tell you about the events leading up to my visit. So, you don't remember a thing, and you feel hungover? That's all I can tell you. It's on the road. They say I knew. I was in that motel room. He nods thoughtfully. Can you please remove your shirt, Mr. Smith? Yeah, okay. I pull my shirt off and let her have a closer look. Hmm. No bruising, no scratches, no bleeding. He then examines my scalp a bit more closely. No signs of head trauma, no sunburns. Can't smell any alcohol on your breath either. You on any medication? Not at all. Hmm. This is really baffling. I am being honest. There's nothing indicating you've been in a car accident. Is there anything else that could cause short-term memory loss? Nothing that would be applicable to you, unless you've had a stroke and don't know it. Right. What's also weird is that... Should I tell her? <coughs> is that... Fuck it, I've got nothing to lose. I'm not from around here. I'm from a place called Nevada. Hmm. Now that makes things a bit more complicated. You could explain your memory loss due to drinking, but Nevada. Where in the world is that? In the United States of America? I hate to tell you, but I've never heard that place either. Uh, what's it like in Nevada? Empty. A lot of desert. Sand. I hate sand. There isn't... Oh man, how can I say this without sounding like an asshole? Isn't what, Mr. Smith? You can tell me. Well, people like... This guy said anything. You were going to say, like you, weren't you? Sorry, couldn't think of a better way to put it. The only humans in Nevada. Yes, yes, I see. It's a human-centric place. Not exactly. Where I come from, people like you don't exist at all. Speaking of, don't you find it weird that I'm not like you? No, no. I'm not some country bumpkin who's never seen a human before. A couple of them drift through the springs now and then, usually tourists. Or in some cases, looking for a little cheap plastic surgery. Good for business either way. Plastic surgery? So you're a plastic surgeon? One of the best on the Aurora Coast. I'm also the only qualified doctor this side of town. So, I do a lot of GP work too. He scrolls down some notes on a pad. Well, Mr. Smith, there's nothing physically wrong with you. You can be sure of that. No signs of trauma or injuries. Reactions seem normal. It's your psyche I'm worried about. So am I crazy? Did I just dream about living in Nevada? I can't say for sure. You are lucid enough to hold a conversation. Do you have a history of drug use? Or have you experienced an emotionally traumatic event in your life lately? No drug use. And trauma? I don't want to talk about it. Very well, Mr. Smith. Please remember that I'm here to help you. I'm not your enemy. Traumatic events can cause temporary psychosis, just so you know. I'm fine. Don't worry. If you insist. As for your headache, try drinking some water. You could potentially be dehydrated. Small painkiller or aspirin should make it more bearable in the meantime. If your headache lasts longer than a day, please come back for another consultation. Alright, thanks, Doc. You're welcome, Mr. Smith. All right, what about payment? When I woke up, my wallet and keys were gone. Let's make this a freebie, Mr. Smith. You sure? There's gotta be a way I can pay you back. Well, there's a package I need to pick up from the post office. Think you can get that for me? A package? What kind of package? Just some cosmetics. Nothing serious. Mind showing me where it is on the map? I pull out the brochure. Right here, Mr. Smith. Thanks a lot, Doc. I'll be back before you know it. Thank you, Mr. Smith. If you have any further health issues, please see me right away. Hey, well, At least I'm healthy, I guess. I think the only way I'll figure this out is if I find Lucy. But where the hell could she be? In the meantime, I better go grab this package. First is... And then click on... Nope. Wait. 
But this is to leave, I guess. Yeah. Who are you? Greasy Tony. Don't talk to him. Who are you? I'm new around here. I was wondering if I could ask you about the place. Nah, can't help you out there, pal. Greasy Tony's a busy man. Ain't got no time for no rules. I bite back an insult. What? Want to say something? Not worth it, Axel. Humes are always so easy to rile up. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Okay. Uh, through the map. Post office, I guess. This one. Wait, wow. Where would it be? This could be it. That's definitely not the post office. In fact, I'd say this is a beach. But there's nothing for me to click on here. Oh, this one. Hey, it's the only one. Uh, before I talk to him, do what we usually do. Check out the environment. Nothing. Sad looking dog stares at me from over the desk. Hey boy, another one? What do you want? What do you mean, another one? You think I don't know where you're here, why you're here? When Deep Pool Springs is one of the most notorious places for sex tourism in the whole UCS. Goddamn human degenerates on holiday. UCS? And I'm not a sex tourist. You tell me you don't know what country you're in? Exactly. What, did you stumble into the Union of Coastal States by accident? I guess I took a wrong turn somewhere. To say the least, sex tourists really are brainless. But how can I be a sex tourist if I don't know where I am? Yeah, right. You just ended up in Deep Pool Springs by pure coincidence. Bet you wish you could get into the Platinum Lounge. Platinum Lounge? Ah, oh, pretending you don't know. You keep talking to me like that, and I'll plant my foot on your fucking face. Ha, huh, do it. You'd never leave the county jail. Not with Officer Bust around, at least. Officer Bust? Who's that? Only the worst police officer to ever grace this side of town. She want to contend with her? We gl glow her. We, gl bleh, we glow her at each other for a moment. Just the air again and relents. You don't seem like one of those tourists. Smells all wrong. Tell a lot of about a fella by how he smells. The tourists always reek of expensive cologne and other things. You though, you smell like dust and sweat. You're not one of them. Been on the road a long time, I bet. I don't sniff people without their permission. My bad, my bad. I've got humans find that weird. Well, did you need something? Uh Liz. Liz sent me to pick up a package for her. Said it was some kind of cosmetic thing. Oh yeah, it arrived today. Well, let me go get it. Tip me to the back rooms of the building. No, you'll never come back out. When he comes out, he looks worried. Well, shit. I knew exactly where it was, but it's missing, apparently. Missing? How? I don't know, but it's missing. Someone must have snuck in and stole it. Idea who it could have been? Nah, uh, I haven't got the cameras in here. They left behind some clues, though. Can we call the police? Officer Bus couldn't be more useless if she wanted to be. No dice there. We've got to work this one out ourselves. Well, isn't that just fucking great? Rats? Maybe. Oh, we'd be here all fucking day if I got started about those guys. They're a menace to society at whole. Any illegal happening this side of town, you could bet rats are involved. But the big thing to them is cheese. They can't get enough of the stuff. Cheese? Of all things? He gives me a look. What do you mean of all things? Do you know how a goddamn thing about cheese? Just cheese. What's the big deal? Did you blow in from stupid town or son? Cheese is always bad news. Sure, it tastes great and there's nothing wrong with the cheese itself. But I can tell you, the cheese trade is not a business you want to get involved in. Back at home, you can just buy cheese from the supermarket. What kind of backward place do you come from? America? America. Nope, never heard of that place. Apparently, around 
apparently around, but nobody around here has. You're one weird kid, you know that? Uh, Deadpool Springs. Yep, good old Springs. Well, old. Not particularly good. Not this part of town, at least. Not a fan of the place? Nah, not at all. I'd go anywhere else if I could. But I'm shocked at this post office by... But I'm shackled to this post office by ball and chain. Dad needed somebody to take over when he retired, so here I am. I tell you, working the post service isn't fucking worth it. Oh well. At least the girls around here are good looking. Which you've probably noticed. He leers at me. Go on, I already told you I'm not a sex tourist. What brought you to the springs? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, it must be complicated if you're from a place that doesn't exist. See, you come from America, yeah? What does America even mean, anyway? I'm not lying. You believe you're not lying. That's not the same thing. I could off already. Yeah, sorry. I really am turning into my old man. Hey, you know anything about the local celebrity called Lucy? Yeah, I see her on TV all the time. What a dame. What a dame. Sorry, younger dog. I would have chased her all the way to the moon. That blonde hair, those blue eyes, that rack. I'm telling you, any guy dating, that would be the luckiest guy in the world. You heard anything weird about her, though? Eh, like what? Anything, any rumors or anything like that? No, not really. I guess she doesn't make as many public appearances as she used to. But that's it. Why are you asking about that anyway? Got my reasons. I don't really know what to make of you. Who cares about shit like that? And you could be looking at those boobs. I feel like Wes won't be much help with this mystery. I said four. She's useless. You can get more corrupt and incompetent policewoman if you wanted to. I tell you, ever since she got appointed, things in this part of town have gotten worse and worse. Can you make a complaint or something? I think I haven't tried. It takes three months to get a reply, and it's been dismissed every time. Somebody somewhere is covering for her. Fucked if I know why, though. A politician or something? Wouldn't surprise me at all. One thing she's good at is sucking dick. Being good at sucking dick will get you a lot of places. And you know this how. I'm a guy. I know what I'll do for a blowjob. Got a point. Only good thing in this godforsaken city, an oasis in the endless desert. The finest, classiest strip club you've ever seen. Strip club and classy don't exactly go together, you know. Those are you know, pal. Platinum, Platinum Lounge makes it happen. Sounds like an expensive, though. Nah, it's not too bad if you just buy one drink and sip on it for several hours. But if you want to get in there, you gotta know somebody on the inside. That's how they keep the riffraff out, you see? What, an invite-only strip club? Exactly. You gotta be nominated by one of the old boys. You ain't? Then, tough luck. You aren't getting through. Bye. Am I supposed to be looking for clues? I don't think I... Wait, wait. Cheese! Wait, cheese? In a post office? Maybe this is a clue. Yes, I'll show Wes and see what he thinks. Cheese crumbs? Yay. You son, pal. Found any clues? Cheese crumbs. Kind of weird, don't you think? Oh, god damn it. Not again. What do you mean, not again? It's those damn rats. They always sneak in here and make off of people's packages. I don't even know why they do it. The stuff they steal is usually worthless. It's all Wesley who doesn't hear the end of it when a package goes missing. They aren't too big, are they? Well, no, not compared to you. Maybe I could rough them up and get the package back. He gives me a worried look. I don't really recommend that kid. Besides, how are you going to work out which one actually took the package? Surely someone knows. His name's not Shirley. Someone would, but... I'm just saying, if you mess with one of these guys, you're going to be messed with the whole rat pack. But, if you could somehow get the package back, well, I'd owe you a favor. You got a deal, Wes. Alright, go be smart about this, alright? 
You might not have to smack. You might ha not have to smack him in the face to get it back. I will. Don't worry. I said I will smack him in the face. Save and map. Uh, was that the clinic? There we go, rat boy. Just the air as I approach him. Hmm. That's some cheesy I smell. Sure is. Willing to do a deal for it? Maybe. Depends on what you know. What do you think Greasy Tony knows? Something about somebody stealing from the local post office? Maybe I do, pal. Maybe I do. But you've got to show me the cheesy first. How about the cheese crumbs? With his beady little eyes, he examines them closely. Fancy that. A Hume's like you can around. A nice vintage. A bit stale. I think it'll do just fine. Cheese crumbs removed from it. Aww. He stuffs the cheese in his mouth and chews slowly. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Aren't you worried about where I got it? Cheesy likes. Cheesy's like money. Never ask where somebody got it from. The right post office. Thought they told Larry to knock that off. Larry, hey? So he's the guy I need to find? That's right. He's a stubby little bastard. Always wearing this ugly green suit, too. You can't miss him. You're kind of wearing a green... little jacket. He's something of a... What's the word? Kleptomaniac? Kleptomaniac. Close enough. Point is, he gets a real, real kick out of stealing things. Has it out for the post office too. Who would you say this package was for, by the way, Liz? Oh, now the picture's coming together. Larry's been sore about her ever since she slapped him. He's getting back at her and all West. Two birds with one stone. Anyway, that should be enough for you to work with. Excuse me, Greasy Tony's got other places to be. With that, Tony walks away and disappears around the corner. Right. Now I know where the hideout is. I guess I'll wait until dark. Thanks for playing the prototype. The D DPS may continue in the future. So, that's the uh, demo for Deep Pool Springs. Interesting. A little bit of a mystery going on. Well, we kind of already solved the mystery. We know exactly which rat it was that took the package. So, yeah. <laughs> and we know where to find him, because he got ratted out on by a rat. A rat ratting out a rat. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. But, on that note, you all have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.